by the name of Allah we started. Microbiological and in silico studies for inhibition of current sensing control virulence factor and biofilm formation in Pseudomonas So the monas erigenosa is one of the most important nosocomial pathogens responsible for a variety of infection and with limited therapeutic option because of its antibiotic resistance. This pathogenic microorganism is known to utilize the cell density dependent bacterial communication system known as current sensing to regulate numerous virulence factors contributing to its pathogenicity. Briefly, in Pseudomonas, the current sensing system constitutes of two major circuits, LAS and RHL. The synthase protein LAS I and RHL R synthesize the auto inducer OHM and N butenyl L homocerine lactone, which bind to the transcription regulators LAS R and RHL R, respectively. The LAS R and the RHL R complexes, in turn, regulate the expression of genes related to virulence factor production. It's believed that the inhibition of current sensing enhances the drug sensitivity of the existing antibiotic. Quercetin, a dietary flavonoid, has current sensing inhibitory activity and can inhibit the virulence factor and biofilm formation in Pseudomonas erythinosa with low bactericidal activity. Also, Mlogzikam could interact well with the active sites of less R. This less R plays an important role in the inhibition of Pseudomonas erythinosa, and also it initiates the Pseudomonas erythinosa cascade. Assessment of anticorum sensing activity of bosquerstein and Mlogzikam using docking analysis and experimental study is our aim in this work willing to improve the treatment of multiple drug resistance to the monas erythinosa infection by purpose redirecting of already existing drugs such as quercetin and logscan to reduce the purum sensing control virulence factor. In silico study, the in silico study in this work reformed by the molecular docking study using GLED version scoring function mice to 10.1 Schrodinger. All ligands were docked flexibly to less R and the RHL receptor protein. The less R protein downloaded from the protein data bank and the modeled RHLR protein was obtained from the cell's model. Also, we use the field alignment technique by Crest Field Alignment Module version 2.0.1, used to align all the candidates with the bioactive ligand compound OHN. Before we represent our results uh, from the docking and the field alignment, we must know that we will take the rosmarinic acid as a reference compound because. In a previous virtual screening study of many compounds against the ligand binding domain of less R and RHLR using the docking program GLED 5.5, rosmarinic acid was the compound that showed the best docking score in this previous study. So, in our work, the binding affinity to less R and the RHLR receptors protein of the tested drug will be compared with this rosmarinic acid. The results of the in silico study in figure 1 represent the overlying of meloxicam in blue, rosmarinic acid in green, quercetin in purple with the OHN, the original ligand, and the interaction with the key residue into the binding site of the RHLR showing good binding mood. The figure number 2 represents also the overlying of meloxicam, rosmarinic, and quercetin with the OHN and their interaction with the key residue into the binding site of the last R. The field, the field alignment technique results in figure 1. Loxicam will align with the original ligand with a score of 0.61 showing similar molecular field and suggested similar binding mode. Figure number 2 showed that Quercetin aligned with the original lesion with a score of 0.514 and 
showing similar molecular feed and suggested similar binding mood also. Figure number three. The alignment of the rosmarinic acid with the original lesion with a score of 0.558 showing similar also molecular field and also suggested very similar binding mode. The conclusion of the in silico study, the result of the docking scores of rosmarinic quercetin and meloxicam into the active site of the target protein, less R showed significant difference between them to the site of the quercetin and meloxicam. Additionally, the binding mood and interaction of both of them were better too. As for the target RHLR, docking scores of rosmarinic quercetin and meloxicam were very close with the quercetin showing a better binding mode inside the bucket. The field alignment study also showed good alignment of both of them to the original ligand and upon applying rosmarinic acid as a reference ligand, quercetin demonstrated very good alignment to this reference. This leads us to examine the current sensing inhibitory potential effect of the tested compound with the hope to obtain and to develop potential current sensing inhibitory drugs through purpose redirecting of already existing drugs. After finishing our in silico study, we start our experimental work. The bacterial strain used the PAO1 as a reference strain in all experiments and clinical isolate previously isolated from clinical sample and identified as Pseudomonas aeruginosa using the microscan. We also performed, performed the antibiotic sensitivity test for this clinical isolate in order to select the most resistant to multiple drug to multi, at multiple drug and antibiotic. The minimum inhibitory concentration of quercetin and meloxicam was determined using the frost microdilution method. The concentration of the meloxicam ranged from 1000 to 1.95 microgram per milli, and quercetin ranged from 1000 to 11.7 microgram per milli. In order to characterize the clinical isolate and differentiate them to bifilm producer and non bifilm producer, we, under, we performed the phenotypic characterization of the bifilm production by using the Hung Red Agar. The rough black colony formed differentiate our clinical isolate to bifilm producer and non bifilm producer. Our results of the minimum inhibitory concentration show that at concentration 375 microgram per milli, the quercetin inhibits the bacterial growth and also in loxicam at 31.25 microgram per milli also inhibit the bacterial growth. The clinical isolate P1 showing a strong biofilm formation using the differential Congo red agar and also this strain is resistant to all antibiotic used levofloxacin, ceftriaxone, tupramycin, cefibine, thymam and amipin. So we will use the PAO1 as a reference in all experiments and the, PO and the P1 as a clinical isolate. In order to measure the current sensing controlled variance factor, we will perform four experiments. By film formation using the crystal valve method, raminolipid screening using an oil spreading method and emulsifying activity and also protease activity with bicyanin production. We will start by the biofilm formation as it's a very important variance factor. We will use the crystal violet method briefly. An overnight culture of both BAO1 and the clinical isolate in an LB medium was diluted 1 to 100 in fresh LB medium for bifilm reproduction and then cultured with the two drugs at different sub inhibitory concentration for 24 hours at 37 solutions. Then the phosphate buffer saline was used to wash and remove the non-adherent bacteria and the adherent bacteria was stained with the crystal violet solution for 15 minutes. 
the well then washed and with water to expand the excess stain. The absorbance of the crystal violet solution was measured spectrophotometrically at optical density 509. The result of the crystal violet method. A crystal violet assay was conducted to detect the inhibitory effect of the two drugs on the biofilm formation. The PAO1 and the P1 was cultured with the drug at its sub-inhibitory concentration and the percentage of inhibition was calculated from this equation. The quercetin. According to the optical density reading, the crystal violet method showed that quercetin caused 60% inhibition of the biofilm formation at concentration 93.75 microgram per milli with the PAO1 and converting it from strong biofilm for me for a strong biofilm producer to moderate biofilm producer. Loxicum also caused 56% inhibition at a concentration 15.62 microgram per milli with the PAO1 and also it converting it from strong to moderate biofilm forming. The clinical ice. Quercetin caused 60% inhibition of the biofilm formation at the 93.75 uh, microgram per milli with the clinical isolate and converting it also from strong to moderate biofilm form. Loxicum caused 54% inhibition in the biofilm formation with the clinical isolate at concentration 15.62. The next experimental we, experiment we have the skimmed milk agar assay for protease activity of Pseudomonas. The PAO1 and the clinical isolate were grown overnight in the presence of the two drugs at sub inhibitory concentration, and the phosphate buffer slime was used as a negative control. This culture was centrifuged at uh, 10,000 RBM for 15 minutes, and the supernatted collected were put in the well of the skimmed milk. The inhibition done caused by the protein, uh, the protease produced, measured, and this is equivalent to the protease activity. The result of the protease activity experiment. The finding showed that quercetin at 93.75 microgram per milli caused 62% and 61% reduction in the protease production with the PEO1 and the P1 respectively. And also, in meloxicam at 15.62 microgram per milli caused 26% and 28% reduction with the PAO1 and the P1 respectively. The raminulabit screening before and after treatment. We use two methods, the oil spreading. In this method, briefly, 50 ml of distilled water was added to the petri dish, followed by 100 ml of sunflower stained with uh, sunflower oil stained with eucine or sodium black to the surface of the water. Then 10, 10 ml of the culture supernatant was dropped on the oil surface. The diameter of the clear zone on the oil surface was compared to 10 ml of the distilled water at the next control. In this test, the inhibitory effect of the two drugs screened by measuring the reduction in the inhibition dome caused by the culture supernatant on the oil layer before and after treatment. The treatment PAO with the quercetin at 93.75 microgram per milli caused reduction in the inhibition dome by about 74% while treating with meloxicam at 15.62 microgram per milli causing reduction by about 38.5%. The clinical ice with P1 when treated with quercetin at 93.75 microgram per milli caused reduction in the inhibition zone by 55.2% while treating with meloxicam at 15.62 microgram per milli causing reduction by about 33.5%.
and method for determining ramin-loaded water emulsification measurement. In emulsification measurement, too many of the culture sulfur happened, and too many of sunflower oil were added and were vortexed at high speed for two minutes. The mixture were was allowed to stand for 10 minutes prior to measurement. The emulsification activity defined as the height of the emulsion layer divided by the total height as expressed as percentage. The result of this test. The result of this test that PAO1 was producing raminolipid by about 47.3 without drug treatment. After treatment with the with the first team at uh, 93.7 microgram per milli concentration, it reduced to 18.8. While after Mlogbitam at 15.62 microgram per milli treatment, it reduced to 28%. The clinical isolate P1 ability to produce from in the limit measured by 52.7%, which is reduced to 23 by quercetin and also it reduced to 31 by in loxpo. The last experiment we have is the bicyanine production using a chloroform extraction method. The result of this test showed that the results of this experiment showed that in bicyanine production by PAO1 and P1 without any treatment was 1.55 and 1.4. After culturing with quercetin at 93.75 micrograms per milli, concentration of the bicyanine reduced to 1.3. While after treatment with Imloxcan, the concentration of the bicyanine non significantly reduced to 1.46 for PAO1 and 1.37 for P1. The conclusion of this study, according to the docking analysis and field alignment finding, the two drugs undergo the wet experimental test to find out their ability to reduce some of the current sensing controlled variance factor. The ability of course team and sub inhibitory concentration to reduce by transformation, raminolipid production, protease, and bisanin production in both the reference isolates and the clinical isolate P1 is better than Luxcan at its up in concentration. Our future work reforming real-time PCR to determine the effect of those two drugs on the gene expression of Boslas R and the RHLR. Also determination of the potential effect of the using tested drug on the MIC of Adfarabit and determination of the inhibitory effect of tested drugs on other Quorum sensing in the bit, uh, quorum sensing control variant factor. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to share our work with you. Thank you and goodbye.